Hello, welcome to Unit 4. We're looking at Lesson 5, Part 1, Related Rates. We're looking at question number 13 specifically. So number 13 says that 1 o'clock, ship A is 80 kilometers south of B. So here's ship B. And down here, 80 kilometers, is ship A. Uh, ship A is sailing north, so it's going this direction. I'm going to call this direction the Y, and that direction the X. Just to keep things kind of straightforward here. So I know that dy by dt, because that distance is shrinking, a is getting closer to b, it's actually going to be a negative value, so negative 30 kilometers per hour, okay, because it is shrinking or closing the distance. Ship b is sailing east, so ship b is heading this way, so it's in the positive, it's stretching the distance from the starting point, so dx by dt is going to be positive 40 kilometers an hour. How fast is the distance between them? So we are looking for h or dh by dt. That's what we are looking for. And we want to know at 3 o'clock, so two hours have passed. All right, so two hours all right, has gone by, which means that the sides of this triangle on this side, 40 kilometers an hour times two hours, so this will be 80 kilometers in length, all right? This side started out as 80. It's getting smaller by 30 times 2 hours. So that's 60. So that means that this side is going to be 20 kilometers in length. It forms a right angle triangle. So we are using the Pythagorean identity to determine the relationship. So taking the derivative, 2h dh by dt equals 2a, dA by dt plus 2b, db by dt. All the 2s fall out of this. We are looking for dH by dt. So that means I'm going to take dH by dt, and it's equal to a, dA by dt, plus b, db by dt, all divided by h. What do we know? I calculated the a value. Okay, that'll be the 80 <laughs> dA by dt. I've kind of messed this up. I changed variable systems. Um, so let's see, x is dA, dy is db, just to make life a little bit easier. So I know all these values. I need to find my h value. So that means I'm going to have to use the Pythagorean identity. So down below, we're going to find h. So h squared equals a squared plus b squared. h squared equals... So it would be 80 squared plus 20 squared. Still figuring that out. What do we end up with? So 80 squared plus 20 squared. And let's just square root the answer right away. So we find that the hypotenuse at that point in time is 82.5 kilometers approximately. So there is the value. Now let me finish the question. So I know my A value is 80 and it's increasing in length so it would be times 40 plus my b value is 20 but that side's shrinking so it'll be negative 30 over the height which is 82 and a half cleaning that up so 80 times our 40 plus our 20 times our negative 30 divide that by 82 and a half we're going to be pretty close to what they get for an answer Let's call it 31 and a half kilometers per hour. So therefore, the distance is, because it's a positive, is increasing at 31 and a half kilometers each hour at that specific point in time. If you have any questions with number 13, let me know and I'll try to clear them up for you.